Hey, everybody. I am a stay-at-home girlfriend. <laughs> and, um, it's because I'm an out-of-work wardrobe stylist. I think it's been hard for me to get a job because I decided to specialize in something that people just normally do on a regular basis, like shop and dress themselves. But it wasn't always like this. I started off kind of like on a high note for a split second. My first job was working with this chimp actor that I had been um, following his career for a while. <laughs> so, back in fashion school, um, I don't know if you've ever seen this show, it's called Chimp Channel on Secret Station. <laughs> These chimp actors reenact famous movie scenes. Like they'll do A uh, Few Good Men or Braveheart. So anyway, I was a huge fan of that. Show. And then um, when I first started working in wardrobe, I had the chance to work with Jack. He was the lead champ. <laughs> that show, but it was something else that he was doing. So I'm on set, and the AED calls everyone for a crew meeting. And he's like, all right, Jack's going to come on set. And when he does, um, just step aside and don't make eye contact with him. So I was like, oh my god, I'm working with a diva. <laughs> I felt like I made it. Because you know who else is like that? Tom Cruise. <laughs> so... He comes on set and he just looks pissed off. Like he like does not want to be there. And then I realized like he was kind of forced into show business, like at a young age. Like he so did not want to be an actor or anything. He's not like, he's not like Tom Cruise. He's more like Michael Jackson. And that made me really sad. <laughs> so uh, I have another story. This has to do with my father. My father is a sweet man. He's in his 70s, and he immigrated here like 40 years ago from Korea. And it was like wartime Korea, but like even though he came here 40 years ago, he still like acts like an immigrant. But he's kind of um, high tech for him in a sense where he has an email account. He doesn't really do much, he just like sends um, inspiring photos like of nature. <laughs> <laughs> so one time he needed help logging on because his computer wasn't working and I was like, all right, sure, have a seat. And um, I turned on my laptop and logged him on, but I didn't um, know how to spell Hotmail correctly. And all of a sudden, um, this naked, greasy guy with a big, hard penis was on the screen. And I got the spinning beach ball, and there was, like, nothing I could do about it. My dad was like, he's, like, staring at it. And this video on the bottom right corner comes on, and it's two guys that are giving each other blowjobs. My dad's, like, deciding which of his, like, bifocals to look at. <laughs> thinking, wait a second, does he really not know what this is? Yeah. Like, does he not know what homosexual sex is? Or does he not know what blowjobs are? <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> if he does know what blowjobs are, like, is that my mom who's giving it? <laughs> <laughs> and in the little video, a third guy walks on. And I'm thinking, what's that third guy going to do? <laughs> but then I just couldn't take it anymore. There's too many, like, things <laughs> with my dad that we just experienced. So I just closed the laptop. And now we both don't know what that third guy was going to do. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you.